Hello everyone. In this video, we will have a look at lowest common multiple. As we want to talk about LCM or lowest common multiple, let's look at these words individually to understand a few properties of LCM. So multiple. Now if I have a number 3, what are its multiple? Its multiples are 3, 6, 9, 12 and so on. If I have 5, its multiples are 5, 10, 15, 20 and so on. And if we see here, which is the first multiple? First multiple is 3, which is equal to the number. So we can see that the lowest multiple is the number itself and all other multiples are greater than the number. And hence, here when I see multiple, we come to know that LCM is going to be greater than or equal to the number. Now common, as we have seen in HCF, common indicates that LCM can be found for two or more than two number. We cannot find LCM for one number. And of course, we want lowest of the multiples. We know that we can have infinite multiples. There is no end to it. But what we are interested in is lowest number from these multiples. So if I want to find LCM of 30 and 42. First thing is we will write all the factors. We will write all the factors. Not only the common factors but all the factors. So 2 is 2 factor of 13 is 2 15s are 21s are. Now 3. 3 5s are 15. 3 7s are. Now here there is no common factor so we'll use 5. 5 ones are and 7 we'll take as it is down because we cannot divide 7 by 5 we'll take 7 as it is down. Now here we will take 7 as the next divisor. We cannot divide 1 by 7 so 1 comes down as it is. 7 ones are 7 so 1 comes here. The moment we get 1 at the end here we'll stop and we will multiply all these factors. So 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 7. That gives us 2 into 3 6, 6 into 5 30, 30 into 7 210. And 210 is our LCM, lowest common multiple. Let's do one more. Let's take 27 and 63. So the first prime factor which can divide 27 and 63 is 3. So 3 9s are 27 and 3 21s are 63. We still have 3 as a factor so we'll use 3. 3 3s are 9. 3 7s are 21. We still have 3 as factor of one of them so we'll use 3. 3 1s are 3. We cannot divide 7 by 3, so 7 comes down as it is. Now here it's 1, so we have to use 7. So 7, 1 remains as it is, 7 ones are 7. And now these multiply 3 into 3 into 3 into 7 gives us our LCM. That is 3, 3s are 9, 9, 3s are 27 and 27 are 189. So 189 is our LCM. Let's do one more. Let's use 18 and 60. 2 is a factor of at least one of them. So we'll use 2. 2 9s are 2 30s are. Now 2 is still a factor of 30. So we'll use 2. Because we cannot divide 9 by 2, 9 goes down as it is. We can only divide it if it is completely divisible. And 2, 15s are 30. Now both are 
odd number so 2 cannot be the factor let's see if it is 3 3 is a factor of 9 so we'll use 3 3 3 is our 9 and 3 5 is our 15 next we will need is 3 3 ones are 3 5 we cannot divide so 5 comes down as it is and now we have to use 5 as the divisor 1 comes down as it is 5 ones are 5 we reach to 1 so these are our factors we, we have to multiply I'll multiply these first 2 3s are 6 6 3s are 18 and 5 2s are 10 so 18 10s are 180 so 180 is our LCM and if we see 60's multiples are 60 and 120 60 120 and 180 are 60's multiple and if we see we cannot divide 120 by 18 completely we can divide 180 so 180 is going to be the lowest common multiple factors and multiples is a very interesting topic do watch our other videos on this topic to get complete understanding of this topic and do not forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you get notifications whenever we upload a new video